The problem with the Mazda 6 over the years is the fact it's been anonymous in the family car segment. On this edition of Test Drive, we take a look at the latest version of the Mazda 6. The question is, are the changes enough to grab it a little bit of the spotlight? In redesigning its latest Mazda 6, Mazda's goal was to give its most important new model launch in a very long time some character and driving excitement. It is, after all, set to become the company's flagship, and as such, it features all of the technology Mazda has been developing over the past five years. All of which means the latest Mazda 6 is new from bumper unto shining bumper. The exterior pizzazz flows into the cabin. The materials are obviously off the top shelf, the layout is entirely logical, and there's a great deal of attention to detail throughout. And these seats, they have to rank as some of the best in the industry because the bolstering adds a great deal of support. There is, however, a nit to pick, right here. The navigation system is, in a word, awful. At this point, the 6 is powered by Mazda's 2.5-litre Skyactiv-G four-cylinder engine. It puts out 184 horses and 185 pound-feet of torque, which is enough to return a surprising turn of speed given the size of the Mazda 6. The test car arrived with a six-speed manual gearbox. It does feature a light clutch and a precise gait. However, the better choice is the automatic transmission, especially when equipped with the paddle shifters. It features smooth shifts, the paddles remain functional regardless of the shifter position, and it has the right ratios, meaning the engine stays in its sweet spot when running up through the gears with a heavier foot. It also runs to 100k in 7.8 seconds and has a 5.5 second 80 to 120 passing time. The kicker in all of this is that the automatic also delivers better fuel economy than the manual. The back seat of this Mazda 6 is enormous. There's plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, and the center spot, should you need it, is actually usable. Now, all of this comes as very, very good news because you're going to need a comfortable chair. This, believe it or not, that is the owner's manual. It is the largest I've encountered in a very, very long time. No wonder they call this thing the newest part of a used car. The 6's intriguing engine alternative promises to be Mazda's delightful 2.2-litre four-cylinder turbo diesel. It puts out 175 horsepower, which is rewarding in its own right. However, it excels in the torque department. 310 pound-feet across a very broad range. It also promises to deliver even better fuel economy. Now talk about having your cake and eating it too. The trunk on this Mazda 6 is enormous, 14.8 cubic feet, and you'll also find 60-40 split folding rear seats. I also like the fact that they've boxed in the hinges. That means that when you close the deck lid, you're not going to crush anything. It all speaks to the attention to detail that you find throughout this car. True to its sportier intentions, the Mazda 6 is firmly sprung, but far from harsh. In the mid-sized segment, it certainly has the sportiest feel when it's driven with purpose. When pressed through the pylons, the amount of body roll proved to be minimal, and the feel afforded by the steering was both light and precise. The GS's 225-55 R17 tyres also did a good job of taming unwanted understeer. The 6's other upside is that the highway ride proved to be comfortably relaxed in spite of the sportier suspenders and very sharp dynamics. The answer to that question, this car is more than good enough to grab the spotlight. The handling is poised, the drivetrain is a delight, and I can't wait for the diesel to arrive. The cabin is also as good or better than anything in the segment. Just too bad about the nav system. The bottom line, this Mazda 6 is the new benchmark.